Hi Aquarius, this is going to be a general love reading for mid-March 2021 for your Sun, Moon, Rising and your Venus signs. It is going to be general, so that means it's not going to resonate for all of you and that the roles can be reversed and the messages will be general. Alright, so you can check out one of your <clears throat> other signs or one of your person's other signs. And yeah, this is a temporary camera angle for those of you who have been following me. I will be taking it back to how it was for April's readings. All right. So let's see, Aquarius, what is going on with you? What are the new energies? Mid of March. Ooh, ooh, okay. All right, we have Twin Flame, we have Divine Feminine, and we have Cycles. All right, so <clears throat> with this Twin Flame card, don't get stuck on the on the labels, all right, it's just telling me that it's a very deep connection, it's a very strong connection, it could be divine connection, it, it's just not something that is casual, all right, regardless of whether you have known this person for a long time or maybe, you know, it's a new um, relationship, either way, it's going to be somebody that you feel like there is a very strong connection and that you've known for a long time, even if you just met them, all right, and this is just reinforced by the fact that we got the Divine Feminine card as well, which if you identify more with the feminine energy, okay, it doesn't mean that you're necessarily a woman. It just means that you, you can identify with that energy. Um, I, I see it as you actually, you know, standing in your power here. But at the same time, you know, there might be cycles that you are going through that it might feel like there are certain cycles that are repeating themselves either within the connection or just even within yourself um, when it comes to the connection. All right, like repeating certain patterns or just certain um, processes. You might feel like you've gone through something and then it feels like you're just going through it again, for example. So let's get into it and, and see. And if you don't identify with the feminine energy as much and you identify more with the masculine, okay, then just take this you know, to be the person that you are watching for. Which would mean that the person that you're watching for, you know, is a divine counterpart. Which it is anyway, just from having the twin flame card. <clears throat> Alright, so Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the second half of March. All right, so for your situation, we have death crossed by the two of pentacles. All right, so it feels like there is either a transformation that is happening within this connection and it might feel like an ending. Um, and it could even be some kind of a break, something that just, it just feels like it's ending and it's feeling very, very difficult and possibly very difficult to manage. <clears throat> Recent past, we have the queen of wands and in the near future, we have judgment. All right, yeah, so I feel like, you know, this, in the, in the past, it feels like if this is just representative of your connection, there was a lot of passion here, there was a lot of desire, um, it just felt very fiery and just very um, magnetic, all right, and in the, we'll see, we'll see when we clarify to get more details, but with this judgment card in the near future, I, I'm feeling like there's going to be like major revelations here or a major revelation or a major truth coming to the surface. Let's see, for you, we have the three of swords. For them, we have the ace of wands. More for you is the knight of pentacles. For them, the eight of wands. And potential outcome here, we have the emperor. Okay. So, Aquarius, yeah, you're, you're feeling a lot of pain right now. I feel like you're really struggling here, all right, with whatever it is that is going on, um, with something feeling like it is an ending, but I feel like you are on the right path here, all right, with the Knight of Pentacles. You're, you're on the right track. It might not feel like it because how can the right path feel so painful, right? Um, but a lot of times that is how we grow. 
that is the right path doesn't does require some some difficulties and some pain you know so we can heal and a lot of you probably already know this but this is what is coming through here for your person okay wow I don't know what it is that happened that is causing this transformation that is so difficult because I am seeing it more of a transformation rather than like an actual ending just based off of the the surrounding cards here because um, it looks like your person still has a lot of passion for you and would actually want to have this new beginning and to reignite things possibly in a new way. I don't know what the issue though is between the two of you. We'll see. And I do see them wanting to either communicate or wanting to take some action. And we also have the Emperor as the, as the potential outcome here, which is really about... Um, I mean, it could be a lot of things, but it's it's going to be positive, all right, when it's in this context, regardless. So let's clarify. All right, let's clarify death with the Two of Pentacles. we have the four of swords the ten of swords and the hermit okay yeah so it definitely feels like there is some kind of a of a break all right right now um again i feel like it has to do with transformation but it's also it's also feeling like an ending here and it's very very painful all right with the ten of swords um there is a lot of healing that is attached to this so you might or you might not be aware of that but this is why this is so painful right now because there is something that deeper that you are going to heal through this experience all right and whatever that is it's it's kind of like that needs to happen in alone time all right with the hermit this is forcing you to go within and to really find a certain i feel wounds within yourself possibly wounds from the past that are being triggered right now in order for you to heal those and it could be, you know, that this is also, you know, if you allow that to happen, that it is going to break that cycle of repeating certain patterns over and over and over again. All right. And this is why I feel like you are on the right path here, because I feel like you are on the brink of actually breaking those cycles and allowing yourself to fully heal this time around. Let me see the Queen of Wands for the recent past. All right, the Two of Pentacles again and the King of Swords. So it could be that there was um, a decision that somebody needed to make or a, a decision that somebody did make that was just very difficult to deal with. But I'm seeing it more actually of um, going back and forth when it comes to making a decision and to actually being determined and firm about um, holding on to it and, you know, seeing it through, like having it executed, whatever that is. And even though there was this back and forth when it came to that, I mean, there was still, like I said, this crazy magneticism between the two of you, which is very typical of, you know, twin soul, if you believe that. Um, connections or divine soulmate connections even or whenever a person shows up into our lives where we need to um, learn something through this experience all right let's let's see the three of swords for your energy All right, we have the Devil, the Page of Swords, and the Ten of Cups. All right, yeah, because this is this is a connection that you feel very, very strongly about, all right? Not surprising, all right? You felt like this could really um, be what you what you wanted, you know, everything you've, you've wanted. And, and this is why it is so painful at the moment. But what I'm seeing here with the Devil is, again... I feel like that is the, th those cycles that that repeat themselves, you know, like there is something that you either give into or you allow it to repeat, which doesn't end up 
helping you or the situation. It's not it's not for your for your highest good. Um, and I feel like right now what's happening is that you are now beginning to explore this and to understand and to understand at least you're beginning to understand these patterns and how they've been affecting you and and just the the dynamics of this connection. Let me see the the Knight of Pentacles. All right, the Six of Wands and the Star. Okay, good. So, like I said, I feel like you are on the right path, but actually now the way this is coming through, I actually feel like this is your person moving towards you. I feel like this is the energy moving towards you, as well as he just he wants to cuddle. <laughs> Um, this is your person moving towards you, but it's, it's, it's like it's happening in a, in a slow way, but it's because things are getting on the right path. All right. And sometimes that does require, require some time, but however, it is going to be something very beautiful here. All right. With the star and the six of wands. All right. This is somebody moving towards, towards success. All right, when it comes to to this connection, and I do, the star is also about healing. So I do feel like, like this is you being able to heal from this pain and from whatever whatever these other wounds might be that are coming up because of what is happening now. So let's see for your person. Let me see this Ace of Wands. All right, we have the moon and we have the seven of cups. Okay, yeah, so this person really wants a new beginning with you. Um, they are a little bit confused about it and I feel like they are holding on to some fears and some doubts, but I also feel like they might not be showing how they truly feel to you. They're not, not fully at least, all right? I feel like there's something that they're hiding and it's because they are confused um, when it comes to, you know, how much they should open up to you ab about whatever it is that is going on. Let me see the Eight of Wands. I do feel like whatever this is, it, that it's going to come um, to the surface and it's going to be presented to you, all right, with judgment being in the near future. Ooh, the Chariot. Let me get one more. And the Five of Cups. Okay, that's interesting. What? I'm trying to understand what it is that is happening here, but obviously it's going to be different for everybody. Let me get one more. The High Priestess. All right, number one, this person really does want to come forward. I mean, there's no there's no doubt here, all right, with these cards that I'm seeing. Um, Ace of Wands and then the Eight of Wands and the Chariot. This is a lot of movement and it's a lot of drive, a lot of motivation. This is somebody who has a lot of passion for you and really wants to make things work. And it's like they know this intuitively that, you know, this is where they want to go. This is where they want to move to. But there is something here that is holding them back, this Five of Cups which could be something from the past, not releasing something from the past that just feels, could possibly be making them feel a little bit um, guilty, but to the extent where they feel hopeless, like not sure what they can do about it, right? Because we have the Seven of Cups where it's like some confusion here about possible um, options Forgetting to forgetting to where they want to go, like it almost comes through as a little bit, a little bit of immaturity or a little bit of all right, you know, not really having control, or actually, it's not that they don't have control, but feeling like they don't have control, almost feeling like they're an amateur at what it is that they need to do here. Like just not knowing, knowing where they want to go, but not knowing how to get there. All right, and also do keep in mind that the roles can be reversed, um, but this is how it's coming through. Let me see judgment. All right, we have the Eight of Cups, 
the Ten of Pentacles, the King of Pentacles, and the Wheel of Fortune. All right. Let's see. Some, something is coming up to the to the forefront, I feel, and it's going to be something that is going to change the direction of where things seemed to have been heading before. Um, I do feel that this is going to be positive. Again, okay, Knight of Pentacles, I feel like this is, you know, a, a, a slow progression in the right direction towards, again, I feel like it's, it's an ending of cycles. Um, certain cycles that have been repeating themselves, which could even be the way that somebody was thinking about something, like just, you know, feeling hopeless, for example, and then not feeling hopeless, and then feeling hopeless again, you know, even something like that. It is being broken so that things can change and move in a new direction once and for all. All right, it's a detachment, this Eight of Cups, of that. And this might even involve some kind of a commitment. Either another commitment or, um, you know, whether it be a personal one, a work-related one, or just, you know, anything else. But whatever it is, I mean, with having the Wheel of Fortune here, it's going to be it's going to be different, and it's going to be something that is moving in the right direction. All right, that's the main point here, and I do feel like there could be um, some truth that has been hidden from you that will um, present itself. So let's see the Emperor for the potential outcome here. All right, the Knight of Cups and the Two of Swords. All right, so when it comes to when it comes to somebody having to make that decision, I feel like this is going back to to this energy here from the past. I feel like somebody's really taking control here. All right, somebody's stepping up their game when it comes to having blocked something out, having avoided something, um, and then really just figuring out this path that they want to take towards love. All right, it's like with the emperor being here, it's like the emperor rules, you know? So over this indecision that was there, there is now going to be some control over that, taking control of that, and being decisive and moving in the path towards love. Well, that was a happy ending. <laughs> feels really difficult for now though um, and this could still take some time all right I'm not saying this is happening tomorrow all right um, I do feel like things are going to start shifting though here all right because we have the judgment in the near future which is something um, closer to now but this energy here might take a little bit more time to manifest all right so Aquarius if this resonated let's get your final message don't forget to give me a thumbs up if it did resonate and if it didn't it was just not, not your reading all right and that's okay all right and we have be authentic be real and true to who you are and how you feel yeah be authentic to yourself you know don't don't try to suppress your feelings because there's a lot of healing that is happening by you allowing yourself to feel this, all right? It's moving you towards healing and it's moving you in the right direction, all right? So always be authentic, first and foremost, to your own self, all right? And then to everybody else. All right, Aquarius, thank you so much for watching. Much love.